My mom's the camera going is great. So you want to learn how to blacksmith? Well, pop on down. Come on down. Let me show you the ways of the editor. First of all, this is what I'll be wearing. I went through all of the footage, got all of these selects for each day. Get out of here. This year in particular was kind of cool because we had two DIT people. It is insane that, you know, these are all in their dedicated folders. When I start a recap, I just want to get all of the selects done. This all has the shortcuts for Premiere. I don't know all of them. The only ones that I'm usually working on is I have this finger on in, this finger on out, and this finger on the comma. The comma just puts whatever clip you have selected, puts it on the timeline. So right here, we have this clip. I'm scrubbing through, see what's a good moment. I use this hand, hit in, makes an end point. Scrub a little bit faster through the clip, hit out, then on the timeline, hit the comma button, puts that in. I do that with every clip, literally every single clip. Whenever I have to do an edit really quickly, I listen to this mix. I don't know what it is, it just, it gets me going. This is what the timeline of the edit looks like so far. They're organized by stage, you know, there's some general b-roll stuff, some drone footage. Clips for the actual, like, recap part. I'll just go through kind of somewhat randomly and see what would be a good clip. What the? Oh wait, no, I like that one. Make a cut and move this little thing up to make sure that later on when I pick through selects that I realize that I've used this so I put it on the second level. Don't really need the audio. Holy mo- Take this clip. My brother. Take this clip, push it up, take only the video, go back to the main edit and paste it and then find a spot that would be cool. Let's see how it looks. Boom. And do that a bunch of times and you get a cool edit, hopefully. We all move together. <laughs> Just like an intro section right here, you know, the meat and potatoes, all these little clips interview section there's artist interviews there's a little drum and bass you know couple of seconds and then it goes back into the meat and potatoes and just like ends with a drone shot classic camera was right here now you're up there usually how this starts out the festival goes down 12 to 16 filmers i don't remember what it was this year then everyone shoots their footage transfers it through a dit person and then i get the hard drive i kind of already wanted to start with the fountain because the fountain in detroit hasn't actually ran for like 12 years. Detroit specifically has gone through so many changes in the last year. I have done all of the promo for movement in this last year, so I'm very familiar with you know, finding what I want in the footage and making something that looks exciting. Some examples being a little bit closer, buddy. All right, that's a little bit closer. Since this footage will be in promotion for the next movement festival, a lot of stuff that will be used in this will be cropped vertically. Right there, see, boom. Can't, can't, can't you see it? Can't you see the dynamicness? Do a small zoom, you go take a keyframe, Go 107, that seems to be the sweet spot. 
and you got one second of joy. Really, the butter to this meat and potato sandwich is people interacting with the camera. That, I mean, I can use that all day. Basically do that for all three days, separated by stage, and I have all my selects. Took a long time. That's the longest process is going through every single clip. And this is, I would say, like 85% done. I love the underground, so I'm really trying to hold myself back into just using all underground footage. The ethos of self-expression and being just a unique city, a unique people, and hopefully that is what I'm trying to portray in the recap. Once you have all the selects made, it's just kind of about placing what you want and what kind of fits. A lot of drone shots to show like the area, a lot of crowd shots to show the amount of people that attended this and to show people happy. You know, that's always in the back of my head is to portray something that is raw and something that will provide insight to someone who doesn't even know about this whole world of electronic music. Since I was a part of the filming crew, was there and like know the environment, I've been going for years now, I do have like a good concept of what I'm looking for in the edit. I think what makes the edit more dynamic is cutting out, you know, cutting it so there's no music, cutting to interviews, cutting to a new genre, and then going back into, you know, what it is. Yeah, and if you do all those things, then you'll have an edit. Just take a couple weeks, really hone it in. You'll have something you can show to the people. I'll catch you out there.